We are taken off by looking into what we refer to evaporation. We shall go through this, and then we go through the boiling of liquid state. We shall compare the two, the differences of the evaporation and the boiling. Evaporation is a phenomenon whereby liquid, liquid turns into gaseous form. Liquid turns into gaseous states. We look into how it happens. We have learned and we've known that matter is made up of particles, molecules. If it is so, what happened? This is what transpire in the, among the molecules. When we have liquid, or let me give an example of this. If water is poured on the ground in an open place, after a while, we get there. The place is dried. What happened? Is it by magic? Or what really happened? What happened is that the water there, or the liquid there, evaporated. So this is the concept we are looking into. It's a natural phenomenon. If we have liquid in a container like this, wherever we keep it, we say that this is made up of molecules. The molecules are moving about. As they move, they collide with one another. As they collide, what happens? They give out their energy to each other. Just as in the real physical term. When two cars collide, depending upon the speed of the other one, meaning that it has a greater energy than the other. If it collides with the one that is not speeding like itself, what happens? There will be loud sound, transformation of energy. Not only that, on the collision, if that, the, the, the one with more speed is heavier, it will push the lighter one in the opposite direction. Then that means that energy has been taken out of the one that has greater energy into the other one. That is what happened. That made it to do what? To do the movement. So over here in this way, in this case also, see, as the energy collides with one another, they transfer, they transfer energy. Not only that, there is energy. It could be thermal energy within the liquid itself. They acquire this energy. So any one of them that becomes so energetic, we find its way out. At the surface, also, there is energy there. It could be sunlight energy. It could be energy derived from the world, from the light, or anywhere. Once it acquires that also, it gains energy which enables it to jump and free itself from the molecular bond. Once it jumps out of the surface, it's blown away into the atmosphere. Gradually, like that, in millions, you see that the volume of this water or liquid will be what? Will be decreasing. What is happening? 
It is evaporation. Evaporation takes place at any temperature. Evaporation takes place at any temperature. It takes place not in the volume, but on the surface. So we note, <clears throat> evaporation takes place, takes place at the surface. The molecules within acquire energy from within. And jumping jumping to the surface. At the surface, it acquires more energy that enables it Uh, jump free jump free the bond the molecular bond molecular uh, bond it flies into the atmosphere. Millions of these molecules do the same. So evaporation takes place. What is the effect of this? Effect of evaporation. It makes the remaining volume of the liquid to become cooler. Because what happens? The energetic molecules are leaving behind less energetic molecules behind. The energetic molecules leave behind the less energetic molecules. Effect. It leaves remaining liquid cooler. Okay, so it leaves the remaining liquid cooler. Okay, so this is what we should not. We should not that. Okay, right. Its application. Our refrigerator, that is what happens. We apply evaporation in our refrigerator. See, applied in refrigerator, in refrigerators. What happens is this. We have freons, gas. 
which circulates around the duct. While it is circulating within the freezing compartment, what is it doing? It is absorbing energy, the thermal energy, from the food kept in the refrigerator. It comes in in liquid form. And so by absorbing that heat, it turns into gaseous form. From there, it proceeds into the compressor, which compresses it to become liquid. It comes back there gradually like that. Okay. It evaporates and turns into what? Into gas by acquiring the heat from various food in the refrigerator. And so we say that the food is cold. That is exactly what happens. That is exactly what happens. Sweating body. Sweating bodies applies evaporation to me to dry the sweat applying. Okay, to dry the sweat, that's all. Okay, so these two areas, we apply the evaporation. Let's quickly look at boiling. Boiling. Okay, before going into boiling, what are the uh, factors affecting Evaporation. Factors affecting evaporation. Wherever there is wind, the rate of evaporation is always very high. So, wind. Wind blowing. Okay? It's one. It's a factor. Two. You see? Wind blowing. The lazy students will never wash, will never wash its clothes. When everybody is doing that, he, lo he will leave, I mean, he, 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 will, he, uh, he loves playing, so he continues playing until the wee hours when he will go and wash his clothes. And then he will be looking for where can I get a fan to turn on, on the washed clothes. He knows what he is doing. He's applying the wind to, so as to hasten the evaporation so that the clothes could get dry quickly. So that is the application of the evaporation bed, hasten evaporation using what? Wind blowing. Two, service area. Again, the lazy students always capitalizes on this. He will always love to watch in the late, spreading the cloth widely. So that if there is evaporation, the wind can blow it in the larger volume. So surface area is another factor, you see, affecting the rate of evaporation. Those are two major factors 
that can hasten or increase the rate of what? Evaporation. All right. Now, let's quickly look into boiling. Boiling. <clears throat> what exactly do we mean by boiling? Boiling only takes place when, never, the pressure within the material or the matter boiling becomes equalized with that of the external pressure. Okay. So, we write this. Boiling takes place. At a specified, at a specified temperature. Example, pure water at 100 degrees Celsius. It doesn't take place at all at any temperature. It has a specified, you see, and that temperature is known as the boiling point of pure water. Okay. Now, boiling takes place. Takes place. In the entire volume, entire volume of the matter, three, boiling takes place. When the saturated vapor, uh, saturated, uh, saturated vapor pressure, SVP, saturated vapor pressure, saturated, saturated vapor pressure, equalizes with the external atmospheric pressure, atmospheric Okay, these are the conditions by which we can say a liquid is boiling. Let me now ask a question. Assuming one is on top of the highest mountain, the highest mountain in the world. And he or she is cooking yam, cooking a yam.
in terms of time, how long will it take? Or let me put it in this way. Assuming uh, oh, one is on top of the highest mountain in the world, and he or she is cooking the yam, there is another one. There is another person, another person at the foot of the mountain. Doing the same thing, doing the same thing. Who among the two? Among the two has his or a yam foot of the mountain, the pressure is higher. The atmospheric pressure is higher. Because the higher you go, what happens to the pressure due to the atmosphere? It reduces. So on top of the mountain, you have a reduced pressure. And we say that water, will, water becomes boiled. Once the saturated vapor pressure within the liquid becomes equal to the external pressure. pressure. Definitely, the temperature will not, if it is pure water, the temperature will not, you know, hit 100 degrees Celsius before the water will begin to boil. And if the temperature of the water is not up to the temperature that it will at the foot of the mountain, then it will take a longer time before the yam is done. So the answer is, the person at the foot of the mountain, we have it jammed down before the person on top of the mountain. It will take a very long time before the yam will do. And ask anybody who lives in the mountainous area, that is the wahala or the problem they always face. Take the have to burn more energy, more energy before their food is done. I hope that is clear. Good. Let's now compare the two evaporation and the boiling. Very, very, very important. Let's take notice of this. Because the examining body, these are the these are the area they always focus. You may know everything, but what is the difference? Or what are the difference between the two concepts? It's a question. I've mentioned everything in the notes. But we should realize that these differences we have to be what? Very, very specific. We draw a table to compare boiling, evaporation, boiling, evaporation, and least. The differences. Boiling, comparison. Boiling. 
boiling. Evaporation. One. It takes place in the entire volume. It takes place at the surface two. It takes place at a specific, specific temperature known as boiling point. Boiling point. In the evaporation, it takes place it takes place at any Temperature at any temperature. These are the two differences. And I hope the concepts are well understood. How each of them takes place is well understood. The differences on how they take place are well understood and absorbed. I thank you so much.